Good morning to everyone. In this lecture, EC8551 Communication Network, Unit 2 Media Access and Internet Internetworking. Here, uh, we are going to discuss about the overview of data link layer protocols. The protocols are normally implemented in software by using uh, set of rules that one of the common program discussed in large language free. We have written in pseudo code as a version of each protocol that is con concerned mostly one of the procedure instead of delivering into the detail of language rules. We divide the discussion of protocol in that uh, noiseless channels are those that can be used for noisy channels. The protocol in the first category cannot be used in real life but they serve as a basics of for understanding the protocol of noise channels main languages. To make our discussion language free, we have written in pseudo code a version of protocol that concentrate mostly on the procedure instead of delivering into the detail of language rules. We divide the discussion of protocol in the you used for noiseless that is the RRP channel and those can be used for noisy creating channels. The protocol is the first category can be used in real life but they serve as a basics of understanding the protocol of noisy channel. All the protocols we discuss are unidirectional in the sense that the data frames travel from one node to another. It is called sender to another called receiver. Although special frames called an acknowledgement and a negative acknowledgement can be flow in the opposite direction of the flow and the error control purpose. So the data link in only one direction. Now what is a noiseless channels? The simply simplest protocol it is a unidirectional protocol in which data frames are traveling in only one direction from the sender to receiver we assume that the receiver can immediately handle any frame it receive with a processing time that is simple h2 negligible the data link layer of the receiver immediately remove the header from the frame and the head hand the data pack it is a network layer which can also accept the packet immediately in the other words, the receiver can never be overcome with the incoming frames. Now we see the noiseless channels in our protocols. The sender and the receiver, the data sender is included the data link layer and the network layer and the physical layer. The data frame sent to the uh, sender to receiver, it requests from the network layer that is a, a algorithm for sender side and the receiving side then the repeat forever algorithm for receiver side and the notification from the physical layer. Now <coughs> the stop and wait protocol. The sender send one frame <coughs> stop until it receive confirmation from the receiver and then send the next frame. We will st still have unidirectional communication for data frames but axillary acknowledgement frames that is a simple token of acknowledgement travel from the other direction we add flow control to our previous protocols now the stop and wait automatic repeat request protocols add a simple error control mechanism to the stop and wait protocol to detect and correct the corrupted frames we need to add a redundancy bit to our data frames when the frames arrive the, at the receiver side, it is checked and it, if they are corrupted, it is silently discarded. The detection of errors in this protocol is manufactured by the silence of the receiver. So in this lecture, we are discussed the protocols of data link layer and the noise, how to find out the noiseless channel and stop and wait protocol and stop and wait automatic request protocol event thank you for watching this video